Hello my magical light being and welcome to this video today. My name is Shalit, so welcome to my channel. My channel is all about magical consciousness and today we are going to be doing a message meant to find you in this present moment. I'm very excited to dive in today, shuffling some tarot cards, some oracle cards and you know this is a general reading so obviously. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, behind, you know the vibes, use your own discernment with everything that I'm sharing. If you would like an in-depth reading, the links for that will be down below to get a personal reading with me, as well as the donation link if you feel generous to donate to my channel and to my messages and to my work. The link for that is as well down below. And besides all of that, let's just vibe, let's get into these messages today and yeah you know get comfortable grab yourself a drink and we're going to be shuffling these cards first up we're starting with this golden tarot deck i actually received this deck for my birthday from myself <laughs> that was the gift that i gift gifted myself uh along two other oracle decks uh for my birthday this year and we're going to be seeing the message meant to find you from love for your highest timeline in this present moment, you can set the intention. I would love to be aligned with my highest timeline. The timeline of living in my heart fully in every area of your life. Oh, we had a little bug. <laughs> so, let's see for the beautiful person watching. Always share in the comments who you are what what resonated with the message let me know that you're here and that you're watching i always find that very fun to know and to see as well an actual individual on the other side <laughs> of this video like i'm talking to you right now just you just you and me and it's always really fun to receive back i kind of, i don't know why my ears start my ears <laughs> I don't know why my eyes start to water because of that. <laughs> I'm starting to get emotional. But yeah, let me know. Let me know. So let's shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. We're shuffling for a minute now. <laughs> Angels and spirit guides of the highest light. I would love to receive a message for this present moment. It's meant to find the beautiful person watching this reading today. So yeah, the first message we're getting coming through is take your time. <laughs> take your time. Definitely. There's no need to rush the process. So let's see. I feel these three cards. Yeah. Three cards coming out for you. And we got the first card of the page of sort. This is the overall energy. So what I'm getting here is curiosity, learning new things. The beginner mindset, obviously, if we're in the beginner mindset or if we're allowing ourselves to start anew or start again or start something like all the way from the beginning, then it's really important to stay open-minded, to stay curious and to give yourself the grace of time. You know, there's no need to rush. If you're just starting, and I literally received this download yesterday as I love this message myself, is that don't compare yourself to someone's chapter 20 while you're in chapter one for example like this person literally had to move through all these chapters to get at chapter 20 of their journey of their creation of their process like just like me like me creating these videos and the confidence and the relaxation and the peace that i experienced while doing these videos was not always the case so <laughs> you gotta start somewhere and you gotta allow yourself to you know, be graceful with yourself when you are starting or starting anew. So, love that. So, with the Page of Swords, I as well always want to share, like, the little key notes with such a card. So, I would say incoming communication, new information, receiving insight, receiving some sort of news or some piece of information that will help you to take the next step as well. So, that is coming to you now as you're watching. So let's see the three cards for you today. We got three cards. So let's start. We got the Five of Cups. We got the Justice card. 
and we got the Hierophant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. I think with those major cards, I'm just going to continue shuffling some more cards, some Oracle cards, so we can really get the picture here because that's a very interesting combination of cards. I definitely already see some sort of like divine intervention is happening here so that is beautiful it's a very um it's like a pivotal moment in your life so we got success let's see what else i'm shuffling the sacred destiny oracle deck we got voyage and let's see what else we got diligence okay yeah i see i see what is going on here so we got power that's definitely what i was feeling from this message <laughs> i felt a lot of powerful energy coming through starting off with the five of cups just because something didn't work out in the past doesn't mean that it will not work out in the future just because you tried in the past doesn't mean that what you will choose to uh, lean into I can say <laughs> because I see the full card as well just because in the past something didn't work out doesn't mean that things will not work out in the future and so it's really important to shift your mindset or shift your point of view of what you're focusing on instead of focusing on what went wrong to focus on what did you learn and then to see that whatever is next is up to you and there are many more possibilities available to you. There are still many more beautiful opportunities and experiences on the horizon for you here. So with the Justice and with the Hierophant, this just gifted me this, this sense of like authority and power. And then obviously we got the power card coming out, but this energy right here, I've never seen these cards combined. And so this is giving me like, like, really unexpected not even unexpected but really like this once in a lifetime type of energy it just really like i've never like i literally can say i have done readings for over five years now and i've never seen these two come out together because they literally look alike like they literally look the same almost but they have a total different meaning so with the five of cups and the justice i as well see here that you're ending old cycles or ending old patterns things that don't serve you anymore are being released and you're being pointed at the things that indeed you think went wrong but you can take the lesson from and then take the lesson with you in whatever is next since we did have the page of swords since we did have the page of swords and this was giving me something new like a fresh beginning a fresh mindset so i do see here with the justice that things are being like balanced like things are coming into balance and justice is being served so if you have been feeling like things like in your life have not been working out for you these were all moments that you could learn from as well that in any given moment you can decide how you would love to create your reality from this from this moment on and that you can take those lessons, that wisdom with you. And that's definitely with the Hierophant here too. It's 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 given. It's given <laughs> welcome to the new language of this age. It's giving um commitment, it's giving a big shift, it's giving yeah, a new chapter where you will learn so much in regards to what you give out will come back. The presence, like your presence and who you're being has a lot of impact and has a lot of influence. I received a message of things will not forever stay the way they are. Life is meant to change. You're meant to shift through phases and cycles. And so the cycle you have been going through was very fo fixated and focused on past events. But I see here now that with this karmic energy, with the justice card, it's, it's, it's like that by doing so, you have the opportunity to heal through 
what was painful, what made you feel a sense of regret or shame or guilt or grief and that now is the time to let that go and that the the scales of justice are being balanced and for you to move forward and to start focusing on a new spiritual path that is unfolding for you because we got as well with the hero event and the justice i feel as well there's a very spiritual energy coming through like really this energetic presence and then we have voyage and voyage to me is really like that you're going on a spiritual journey so this is definitely that you are entering a new spiritual phase this can be literally a spiritual awakening that out of out of depression you have been awakened out of depression and now you're becoming aware of how your presence and your actions and your words and how the way you acted in the past what that did to your life as well to other others uh, their realities and that it created your reality and that you're realizing that you are in position to create the reality you want to create and that you got that power to do so because we got the power here and we got courage so having the courage to be powerful and to be the creator of your reality is definitely what i'm getting here because it's just really this energy of awakening out of dense emotions and becoming aware of the role that you're playing in your own life but as well in the life in other people their lives and that hey, you're starting something new or you're deepening the connection to yourself and to your power to your personal power because your personal power is growing here and we got success so the question that i have for you is what is success to you if you would define the meaning of success to you would what would that be and to start acknowledging that you can create that success for yourself and with the panther here i guess it's a panther <laughs> or a jaguar i don't know with a jaguar or a panther this is really like once again this powerful force and to tune in with your intuition and to know that your intuition and your spiritual gifts are being awakened and are being strengthened at this time definitely a, a big focus on using your intuition over the the thoughts of the limiting ideas and we got diligence here so this is talking about staying staying on course to stay connected to because the hero friend fell above that card to stay connected to stay connected to your form of you know spirit spirituality for example so like that you are staying connected and that you stay connected and that you devote yourself to your spirituality or to the universe or to god or whoever you feel guided by that you stay connected and that you continue to connect with that essence because it's fueling your power and it's as well strengthening your trust in yourself and that you can overcome challenging experiences as well because when we have the five of cups and justice this can be a challenging experience or a karmic experience that you're working through an experience that you're meant to work through and release through and it can obviously be challenging so know that you got the strength to do so and that your message is to continue connecting with the divine because that is where your strength is coming from so what else do we got here So some random things that I'm hearing is distant horizons. Um, I don't know what that means, but maybe I will get into that in a moment. I'm going to shuffle some more cards from the Moonology deck. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's just really giving like spiritual strength. So this is something that you're working on at this time. Uh, gaining spiritual strength. I love it. That's a really beautiful message. It really resonated with me. <laughs> I felt that. So let's see some extra messages for you today. Some less messages for you. Some less messages for you today. So random message uh, that come in, is coming through as well is clear the clutter. Um, look at your environment and what can you throw away? What are all things that you can release? If it's old pictures, if it's just dirt on the floor. Because I don't know why. <laughs> this Hierophant card just made me focused on how like much is going on 
on the ground here. So yeah, get rid of distractions. Don't let yourself be distracted by the little things. Um, the little things, like paying attention to detail is can be very important and very helpful. But don't let yourself get over consumed by things that are not supposed to get your attention. <laughs> So let's see what else, what else. Yeah, you're overcoming, you're overcoming challenges because we've got a lot of mountain energy here as well. So, you know, you're moving through challenges, you're overcoming mountains and you are climbing mountains, AKA you're overcoming, <laughs> literally, this is, this is the visual that I was getting. Um, you're learning, you're learning and so if you have experienced recently or you are experiencing rock bottom or some form of like feeling like you're at the bottom to know that this is all with a purpose even if you cannot see that just yet that is okay just continue to take the next step continue to move forward because you will one day look back and be like oh now i understand <laughs> no i understand what i had to happen like that so let's see what is the message oh and then the message that was on the bottom was the energy is gaining momentum so with diligence definitely something here is is picking up picking up so we got expect powerful change <laughs> new moon eclipse if this card comes out know that you're going through massive transformation so and that's what i was getting with the justice in the hierophant like this is like a spiritual soul type of transformation like your soul is learning your soul is learning um new insights is gaining understanding and you're awakening to your soul as well as well as that you're moving through like karmic lessons that your soul chose to have you experience expect powerful change things are going to drastically change from this moment on and even i am like okay <laughs> you know just we're going to take it one step at a time that's diligence that's just you know we don't have to jump to conclusions and that's maybe with the the page of swords and the two of swords under that definitely it's like don't jump to conclusions just yet we got prosperity lies ahead another new moon definitely new beginning energy new cycles Definitely, if you resonate with this message, watch my last video. <laughs> we got a fairy climax approaches. Things are coming full circle here. You're definitely completing, completing some massive soul lessons. Like, whoa, whoa. Congratulations. And as well, that I'm very proud of you because whatever this is, you're very strong and you do hold the strength to overcome these challenges. So let's see, we got you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in cancer. So knowing that there are people around you that you can trust and that you have the intuition and discernment to know who these people are. And then we have, what do you need to release? This was the energy I was getting of like letting go of the clutter. I feel like I want to do two more. Two more. Yes, yeah, so focusing on the past and nothing will come from that. Um, yes, if you have learned, if you have understood the assignment, then it's just time to move forward. And whenever the time is there to once again move through certain emotions that had to do with the past, then that happens. But we don't have to overly focus too much on the past to try to heal through it. So we got luck is on your side. Yes, we got twice Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Let's see. We got a look at the bigger picture yes and then the last card for you today is the last message is what do you need to release once again and then we have another cancer energy so we got a personal issue reaches resolution beautiful way to complete this so yeah resolution is on the horizon uh, know that things are being concluded if that's even a word things are coming to full circle it could be very intense or it could um, bring up certain emotions within you that are meant to be released or being uh, looked at so you can learn the lesson from them um, as what well, I'm seeing here that 
you might go through things to see if you have learned the lessons that you have been going through or the things you have been learning over the last months or so so let's see anything else so yeah we got the energy of aries sagittarius and cancerian energy is coming through i love those energies all so let me know how this resonated thank you so much for tuning in with this video today thank you so much for tuning in with this message today and if let's see is there anything else i want to say <laughs> sometimes i forget even what i'm trying to say here um if you want to like subscribe to the channel that would be so amazing and i wish you such a beautiful day today